Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use opacity to blend two photos together using Photoshop. This is an example of what your finished image might look like. In this image, I have blended together a totem carving and a forest scene. Here is another example. So it's uh, one of the same totems and a different background. Let me show you how to create one of these. Start off with a, an image that is simple and bold and has some nice um, open areas. So this area of the eye where it's this large black area and this large blue area will blend well with another image. So let me get my forest. Here's my forest. So to select all, the keyboard shortcut is Control or Command A, and to copy, it's Control or Command C. Now I'm going to go back to my totem, and Control or Command V is Paste. So over here in the Layers panel, you can see that the forest is on top and the background is the bottom layer. So I'm going to go over here and open up the opacity slider and just experiment and move the slider around until I like the effect. Now you have to um, move the slider and then pause for a minute so that the computer can uh, catch up with the action. So I thought that this image looked pretty good somewhere around 45 or 50. Another thing that you can experiment with is uh, flipping the image to get a different effect. So I'm going to go to the background and click to remove the padlock so it turns into a regular layer instead of a locked layer. Now I'm going to go up to Edit, Transform, and I'm going to flip horizontal. So, I kind of like that. I like the way this, this outcropping of dark area with the trees is right inside the eye. I can open up the history panel and I can click to see the before and the after so that I can make up my mind which one I like better. And I actually do think I like this one better. So let's try another example. I am going to click on this forest. And this forest is a little dull. So I'm going to go to the um, adjustment layers and I'll adjust the levels. So I'll bring this slider in. That looks okay. I'm going to also adjust the vibrance a little bit and the saturation a little bit. I don't want it to look fake. I just want it to look a little brighter. Next, I'm going to go get my totem carving, which is, where is my totem carving? Oh, hiding under the history panel. There we go. So keyboard shortcut control or command A to select all control or command C to copy now back to my forest and control or command V to paste that on top so this image is smaller than the forest so I'm just gonna put it up here in this corner and then click to show transform controls which makes the handles appear on the side of the image and I'll just drag this to the right size and either hit enter or click the check mark. Now I'm going to change the opacity of this until I like the effect. And I think somewhere right around 55 looks good. Okay, there's two examples of uh, different ways that you can use opacity to blend images together. So make sure that you uh, save your project and turn it in. That's it. Have fun.